I just want to say, good luck. We're all counting on you. Airplane is another example of great nostalgia done right, okay? It's not like today's spoof movies where they shoehorn in a lot of shit to try and make something funny. No, 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 no. Shit that was done in Airplane was real and legit, and it worked. Especially for 1980, and especially since spoof movies were something new of that time. So it wasn't just like uh, another spoof movie. This was something new, and it was something enticing. And David Zucker did a great job in showing that. So the film's plot revolves around Ted Stryker. Um, he is from the a war. He was a fighter pilot and he's from he comes from a, a war where shit happens and now he has a fear of flying. His wartime girlfriend Elaine leaves him and he tries to rekindle his relationship with her. She's now a flight attendant and he boards a flight with her to try and get back with her. Uh, but there is a problem on this flight. It seems that there are two choices. Chicken or fish. Okay. So whoever has the fish. Gets food poisoning. Basically. Okay. So now. Everybody's getting sick. <laughs> and it's up to old oh, serious toned Leslie Nielsen and Ted Stryker and Elaine yeah to save the day <laughs> this movie is hilariously good okay I can't think of a better movie to fucking review than Airplane Airplane was such a over the top simple crazy fun comedy it's not something that you would turn your mind off this is when they actually fucking gave a damn okay they actually gave a damn on what they were making and for fuck's sake it worked it fucking worked okay and you take leslie nielsen who just can't who was a, a dramatic actor at the time if you believe that or not but he was and they use his dramatic acting in a comedy and you can't help but laugh because he is so serious toned in the face the whole fucking movie he does not take anything lightly everything is taken seriously and it works man it just fucking works it's just odd to see that in a comedy it i don't know how it works it that's just the way it was man you just accept it and be like this shit does work when you think about it it fucking works and it's awesome okay plus the over the top gags in this movie the Sar saturday night fever skit fucking other skits from other shit the shit hits the fan literally in this movie. You gotta see that to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But who hasn't seen Airplanes from the 1980s for fuck's sake, man? Who has not seen Airplane? I've been watching Airplanes since I was, what, seven years old when I had the video cassette. Then the DVD, now the Blu-ray, same as Con Air. I literally grew up with Airplane and Airplane 2. Um, yes, okay. Fuck yes. And then <laughs> you got the scene where I keep I forget his name sometimes. I think his name is Stryker. 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 I think it is Stryker. Um, yeah, Stryker. Um, you know, Ted's other sort of, sort of nemesis from the war times. And it's awesome. Okay, the dude literally takes off one pair of glasses, already has another pair of glasses on his face, then takes off the other pair. I was waiting for a third pair of glasses to show up on his face, but we got two pairs, so that's kind of awesome, okay? <laughs> you, you don't expect a person to wear two pairs of glasses like that, and it looks like he only has one on. That, that's amazing, okay? Showing a bunch of natives how to play basketball, are you kidding me? <laughs> 
<laughs> who that that's just cr that's just awesome right there and they actually slam and dunk in and all that shit is hilariously good uh my favorite part in the movie of course is that song of course you know where the the girl goes the flight attendant takes the guitar and goes plays plays with the guitar to the girl who has a uh heart condition you know and she she shakes the guitar in front and unplugs the girl and her lips are going like this <laughs> oh seriously you can't get no more nostalgic than airplane oh my god the fucking opening is a mimic of jaws for fuck's sake with the airline's dorsal fin tail going through the fucking clouds like a dorsal fin of a shark that is awesome that's awesome <laughs> that is that that's just too good uh, oh man Okay, and then you got the jive talking motherfuckers in this movie, and then you got the you got the mom. I believe that that's the mom for the Brady Bunch, and she's jive talking to the guys as well. That's awesome. That's hilarious. That is hilariously awesome. They don't speak like native black native tongue. It's like this whole other gibberish shit, and she speaks it too. It's fucking hilarious. It's awesome. It's just awesome. Everything in this movie is just fucking crazy. You got Peter Graves from Mission Impossible for fuck's sake. The TV show, not the movie. Although it would be kind of awesome if he was in the movie. I think he was, if I'm not mistaken. But Peter Graves is the pilot in this movie. <laughs> and he plays a little bit of, of a serious slash comedic kind of slash creepy vibe of a pilot. You ever seen a grown man nick it? <laughs> and then the Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and I ever thought, and I always thought about if they ever remade Airplane for whatever stupid reason they decide to do it, Kareem Abdul Jabbar's part should be played by Kobe Bryant. And the boys should talk trash about Kobe Bryant, like how they couldn't win the fucking playoffs this year and a few years ago and then 2006. <laughs> that would be so fucking cool. That would be so fucking cool because I hate the Lakers, so that would be an ultimate slap in the face of Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> and then had insult to injury, have Shaquille Neal come in somewhere on the ground after the plane's on the ground and probably uh, challenges Kobe one on one to a fucking basketball and fucking slam dunks all over his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Have big Superman come in. Come on now, hell yes. Airplane nostalgia purposes, a plus material. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you hate this movie, I don't know if you're just having grown up with it or is there something wrong with you. But explain to me why you wouldn't like this movie. But for those of y'all who love this movie unanimously, which is the entire fucking world, let me know why you love this movie and did you grow up with this movie as I did. Because, ugh. This is something nostalgic. I wish Nostalgia Critic would review. Because <laughs> I would love to see his reaction. So yes, I'll see you guys later.